A hum emanated in front of me as the hazy lights lit up the rows of snacks behind the glass. I dug around in my pockets for some extra change. Despite how many options there were, they all seemed to come down to sweet or savory. Sorta of how you choose what kind of person you want to be that day, I guess. My eyes stopped at the crunch bar next to the Twix and Snickers. I remember getting crunch bars as a kid from the gas station, back when I could eat anything and didn't have to worry about calories. At this age, I probably shouldn't be eating candy bars anyways, as if I should be further along in life also. I know that there are too many opportunities out there to be behind, but I also know what bad experiences can do. As if there was supposed to be something more, but when it's all over, the bar closed at two and everyone went home. Speaking of earlier years, there was a package of grandma's chocolate chip cookies on the bottom shelf. I remembered my grandmother and how distant extended family seemed. Even if we lived closer, I still feel like there will always be some family you don't connect with. Despite what family is, I guess they still say that friends are family that you choose. Whether you surround yourself with million dollar company in a club that's way too exclusive, or with someone who will keep it a hundred with you, that's something else. Even so, maybe you wandered the outskirts of groups and cliques eating lunch in empty hallways after class. I get that it can feel like it's all just you that's the problem. Alone at the bathroom sink with bleeding knuckles staring into the fractals of a shattered mirror. Anyways, there's plenty of things I could do with a buck fifty, but I'm choosing to spend it on something quick that'll just leave me hungry later. Don't know what that says about myself, but I'm still not one to stumble out of flashing neon at who knows what hour of the morning. I guess I could write a metaphor about chasing that high just to feel something though. Despite how superficial it can be, I get it though. Sometimes the lyrics don't need to mean anything cruising downtown with your high beams on, nodding to the bump of that bass. It's easy to get careless though. It probably feels good when life is driving something nice with your ego in the sky after signing that lease. At that rate though, the only way to stop is to crash it. Still scanning the options I couldn't decide, at least there wasn't anyone waiting behind me. It was after hours in the dark hallway I stood and was empty. I heard talk from a few people about hitting up the bar when the day was over. Some other people were talking about a book club meeting at the public library down the street. There's something about when the rest are out and you're just left with yourself though. Eventually they all go to sleep and it's a different kind of solitude. Left as a silhouette under the street lamp at the corner finding vibes on this one-way road under that lonely moon. Anyways, I eventually chose what I wanted and pulled what change I had out of my pocket. At first I thought I came up a bit short but remembered that there might be some change under the machine. As much as I would like to brag about something shining in my mouth when I grin, or how my cylinders are in the back of a two-seater with a pretty face riding shoddy, it ain't happening. I chose the crunch bar for nostalgia's sake, punching in the numbers in pain. The candy bar fell to the bottom of the machine and I scooped it up from the door at the bottom that swung open. I headed off leaving the machine behind me that almost seemed to say goodbye in its flickering hazy glow. 